hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet Achele. i am so excited you joined me for dinner tonight and on the menu we have fried chicken with some baked potato wedges yes this is absolutely delicious my entire family loves it so today i decided to share with you let's make dinner together for this recipe of course we're using chicken to that i'll add some chicken seasoning garlic salt onion powder ginger powder sage rosemary black pepper and some paprika I'm also adding one of my homemade spice blend cube I'm just going to go ahead with a clean hand to mix everything together until it is well incorporated and I'll be marinating this for about an hour okay Next in a bowl, I'll add in my all-purpose flour. To that, I'll add some chicken seasoning, onion powder, garlic salt, and some paprika. I'm going to mix everything together and set it aside. You may add about a tablespoon of cornstarch to this, which will help your flour stick better. But I didn't have any, so I'll be using it just like this. Next, I'll be prepping my potatoes. I washed it and now I'm spraying it with some white vinegar. I'll allow it to sit for about two to four minutes, which is how I like to wash my veggies. And then we're going to give it a good, good scrub. Yes, y'all. Yeah, I'll be baking it with the skin on. So that is why i'm going to be using this sponge to just give it a good good scrub now if you're going to be peeling it you can just wash it and peel it off but i want the skin on to give it some extra crispiness okay but like i said it is totally optional At this point, I will be cutting it into wedges. You may cut it into any shape you like. You can cut them into squares, triangles. Hey, it works, but I will be cutting it into wedges. So you cut it in half and then you cut it on the sides, depending on how thick or thin you want it. I think this is just perfect. And I keep it in water until I've cut everything up. all right y'all we are ready our potatoes are nicely cut but before we put it in the oven we're going to boil it all right and i have this water going right here i'm just going to go right ahead and season it with some salt and then i'll add in my potatoes we're only going to bring it to a boil and that is it we don't want to overcook this and once this is baked it will be very nice and creamy next in a bowl i'll be adding some olive oil you may use any oil of your choice but i love the flavor that olive oil brings to this potato recipe to that i'll add some vegetable seasoning onion powder paprika garlic salt sage parsley flakes and some parsley 
paste now if you have fresh parsley it'll be the best but because i don't the paste did the job just perfectly mix everything together and set it aside so that the flavors will marry beautifully meanwhile i'll begin flowering my chicken i'm going to give it two flowering so i'll do the first flowering set it aside and then right before it goes in the oil i'll do the second one <laughs> Our potatoes just came to a rolling boil so I'll turn the fire off and I'll get it out of the hot water immediately because I don't want it to complete cooking on the stove top. We will be finishing it off in the oven. Next, I'll drizzle some of this flavor infused olive oil over our potatoes. We will toss everything together, transfer it into our baking tray and into our oven it goes. And I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> ready for the oven but before then i'm going to drizzle a bit more of this tasty absolutely flavorful oil over it and into our oven it'll go i promise you your family will love this it is very quick very easy but absolutely delicious my oil is heating up and i'm adding in some onions which will add a lot of flavor into the oil which will intend flavor our chicken and at this point i'm flouring my chicken for a second time once you have the flour all over it you want to kind of give it a little shake to get any excess flour off it and then into our oil it goes and we will fry this until it is nice and golden brown or to your preferred brownness you all know i like my things to be very very brown but yeah fry it to your preferred brownness Our first batch is ready so I'm going to get it out onto a paper towel lined plate just to get any excess oil off it immediately and then I'll transfer it onto a rack if you leave it on the paper towel it'll begin to sweat and the bottom part may get soggy if you don't mind that is fine but I'm going to transfer it onto a rack i'll repeat the frying process until everything is nicely fried up and 
there you have it oh is this beautiful or is this beautiful perfectly golden brown we cannot wait to dig in invitation extended to you we will be waiting in sweet ajele's kitchen <laughs> and tada our potatoes are also ready these baked for about 45 minutes and the last five minutes i put it to broil to crisp it up a little more oh Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to dig in. If you have these ingredients at home, get into that kitchen and throw it down. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Thank you. Share and subscribe if you have not done that yet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini ochemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all